the family of Hollywood action hero Bruce Willis revealed today that he has dementia. It's called the cruelest disease you never heard of, but now that Bruce Willis has gone public with his diagnosis of frontotemporal dementia. A specific category of diseases where you have selective damage to the frontal and the temporal or the temporal sides of your brain. It's hard on the person diagnosed. It's also hard on the family. Um, and that is no different for Bruce or myself or our girls. I know it looks like I'm out living my best life. I have to make a conscious effort every single day to live the best life that I can. I mean, honestly, he is the gift that keeps on giving. Um, love, patience, resilience, so much. Emma Hemming, the wife of Bruce Willis, recently provided a heart-wrenching update on her husband's deteriorating health. Earlier this year, the family of legendary and beloved actor Bruce Willis announced that he had been diagnosed with frontotemporal dementia. You know, what I'm learning is that dementia is hard. It's hard on the person diagnosed. It's also hard on the family. It affects, uh, it, can, it can affect movement. It can affect speech. Um, and what's the other yeah. one, Susan? Um, behaviors, personality. The worst part appears to be the struggle of determining whether the Hollywood star is even aware of his illness. Does he know what's going on? Is that something that he is aware of? Hard to know. Hard to it's know. hard to know. No, I think it's always been, um, we're a very honest and mm. open household. And you know, the most important thing was to be able for us to say what the disease was. I think as a care partner, it's so important to be able to ask for help and support. During a discussion about coping with the emotional toll of witnessing her husband succumb to the disease, Emma fought back tears, underscoring the role their two young daughters, Mabel, 11, and Evelyn, 8, have taken on in caring for their father. What I'm learning is that dementia is hard, she shared during an appearance on the Today Show in New York. It's hard on the person diagnosed. It's also hard on the family. And that is no different for Bruce or myself or our girls. However, despite the challenges of caring for her husband, she found a certain relief in receiving a diagnosis, acknowledging, I think it was the blessing and the curse to sort of finally understand what was happening so that I can be into the acceptance of what is. It doesn't make it any less painful, but just being in acceptance and just being in the know of what is happening to Bruce just makes it a little bit easier, she added, sharing the bittersweet balance between understanding and the emotional struggle. There is so many beautiful things happening in our lives. It is just really important for me to look up from the grief and the sadness so that I can see what is happening around us, shared Emma. In a deeply moving moment, Hoda asked Emma about the life lessons Bruce is imparting to their daughters as they navigate his illness as a family. Honestly, he is the gift that keeps on giving. Love, patience, resilience, so much. And he's teaching me and our whole family. For me to be out here doing this, this is not my comfort zone. This is the power of Bruce. It's just really important for me to look up from the grief and the sadness so I can see what is happening around us. Bruce would really want us to be in the joy of what is. He would really want that for me and our family. Hoda further inquired, I have heard from people that have an ailing family member, and I remember this from a friend of mine. She said, my husband's diagnosis made my kids better people. Is that what you're noticing? That is what I'm noticing, Emma replied. Listen, I think my kids would be great no matter what, and this is not what I would want for them. But really, like I said, it is teaching them so much and how to care and love, and it's a beautiful thing amongst the sadness. She emphasized that she prefers to be referred to as Bruce's care partner rather than his caretaker, underscoring the importance of self-care in her role. It's incredibly important to seek help and support. You can turn to organizations like the AFTD or Hilarity for Charity. They're great starting points, she shared thoughtfully. And it's important for care partners to look after themselves so that they can be the best care, partner for the person that they're caring for, she added. Emma also expressed gratitude for the support from Bruce's ex-wife, Demi Moore, and their three adult daughters, Rumor, 35, Scout, 32, and Tallulah, 29. Joining the conversation was Emma Dickinson, the CEO of the Association for Frontotemporal Degeneration, AFTD, who shed light on the nature of the disease. What we know is obviously the disease can start in the frontal or the temporal lobes like the name signifies. One of the things that the frontal lobe controls is self-insight, we don't know. Some people, that's the first thing they lose. Any understanding that they themselves have changed and other people retain that for a long time, she explained. 
Bruce withdrew from acting in 2022 as he confronted the illness, which progressively affected his language abilities. In February 2023, his family shared an update on his condition, confirming the progression of his frontotemporal dementia. The statement they released expressed gratitude for the support received and provided a more specific diagnosis of Bruce's condition. It shed light on the challenges of communication and emphasized the importance of raising awareness about FTD. The Hollywood star, renowned for iconic roles in films like Die Hard, Armageddon, and The Fifth Element, had been facing cognitive challenges during film shoots for years before his diagnosis. Reports revealed the use of an earpiece to assist him with lines on set. While dealing with the filming of American Siege in 2020, Bruce was seen using an earpiece during a scene. Similarly, struggles were noted during the filming of MCU Night Shyamalan's 2019 film Glass. Bruce Willis was also recently photographed for the first time following the update. The 68-year-old Hollywood legend was spotted in the passenger seat of a car in Los Angeles on Monday. Clad in a quilted navy jacket and a matching hat, Willis sat with the passenger window down as he was driven around his hometown. Such public appearances have become increasingly rare due to his ongoing health struggles. But talking about their relationship, Bruce Willis and Emma Hemming Willis share a deep and enduring love for each other. In 2007, destiny played its part, bringing Bruce Willis and Emma Hemming together for the first time. Little did they know, this was the start of something truly special. Emma recalled, When we first met, I was surprised at how charming and how funny he was, and extremely handsome. Bruce, too, was smitten from the start, confessing, I was already in love with her. Their story took a public turn in January 2008 when Emma joined Bruce at the premiere of What Just Happened during the Sundance Film Festival. It was a glimpse into their budding romance, marking the beginning of their public appearances as a couple. March 2008 was a significant month for the couple. Bruce proudly took Emma, along with daughter Tallulah and ex-wife Demi Moore, to the premiere of Flawless, turning the event into a heartwarming family affair. It was evident that blending their lives was a joyous journey for all involved. The pinnacle of their love story arrived on March 21, 2009, as they exchanged vows in the picturesque setting of Turks and Kaikos. Their wedding was a testament to their deep love and commitment to each other. Just a few months after their beautiful union, they made their first red carpet appearance as a married couple at the 2009 Met Gala. The world got to witness their radiant newlywed happiness, captured in smiles and intertwined hands. In March 2015, Emma was by Bruce's side to celebrate a significant milestone, his 60th birthday. The event was a star-studded affair, a testament to the many lives Bruce had touched in his six decades. Adding to their joy and love on April 1, 2012, they welcomed their first child together, a baby girl named Mabel Ray Willis. It was a moment of pure happiness as their family expanded. Their family grew once more on May 5, 2014, as they welcomed their second daughter, Evelyn Penn Willis, into the world. It was a time of celebration and embracing the blessings that life had bestowed upon them. In July 2018, Emma proudly attended the taping of Bruce's Comedy Central roast, standing beside Bruce's daughters Rumor, Tallulah, and Scout. It was a testament to the unity and harmony within their blended family. Fast forward to March 2019, they celebrated a decade of love and togetherness with a beautiful vow renewal ceremony. Emma fondly shared, We said, we do again 10 years later, marking their enduring love. Their commitment to family remained steadfast as they joined Demi Moore in September 2019 to support her at the book party for her memoir release, Inside Out. It was a demonstration of their unity and support for each other. However, in March 2022, their journey took a challenging turn as Emma bravely shared Bruce's diagnosis of aphasia, a condition that led him to step away from acting. To Bruce's amazing supporters, as a family we wanted to share that our beloved Bruce has been experiencing some health issues and has recently been diagnosed with aphasia, which is impacting his cognitive abilities. As a result of this, and with much consideration, Bruce is stepping away from the career that has meant so much to him. The Instagram post, which was also shared by Willis's daughters and ex-wife, read, Since then, Bruce's condition has only worsened, and we can only hope and pray that a miracle happens for him now. Bruce is one of the most beloved action stars of all time, and it's hard to see him like this. That's all for the video, folks. Thanks for watching.